Top of the day, YouTube. Uh, I think this is my 16th day right here. Just got finished with the wash. I think I got mostly all the scabs out. This is how it's looking on 16 days. Hairline is a little off though. Uh, after they harvested the grafts, uh, you know, they uh, put that uh, fluid in the front. Uh, and that, the lidocaine or whatnot, uh, and my head was swollen up, and then she came to draw the line on my forehead. They wanted to take something from my beard. Uh, but what we talked about before I went there was they could harvest all the, I mean, I had a good uh, donor area, so they could harvest all the grass from uh, the back of my head, and they went and had to use my beard. But when I got there, when they took me to the back, the lady was talking about, uh, they wanted to use my beard, you know, but I wanted to save my beard just in case this time, you know, they didn't, it didn't grow or whatnot. But yeah, all the hair follicles seem like they're still in there, the transplanted uh, hair. It's just a waiting game now. I'll probably update every month or maybe every two months because it really ain't going to start growing to about three to three to four months. All this should uh, shed. Just that uh, donor area. Oh, shit. Donor area look crazy. Then they did my crown too, but they missed some spots right there. That's crazy. 6,000 grass and you missed uh, part of the crown area. Anyway, the pain is minimal to that FUT. When I went with, uh, you know, Dr. Depp, uh, actually I didn't have any pain after like the sixth day. No burning, no itching, any of that stuff. I put near sporn on the back of my head. Hopefully this would be my final uh, hair transplant. I'm not getting another one, so if this one don't work out, I'm just gonna shave it bald and get SMP. All right, YouTube, I uploaded another uh, month or so.